Dr. Kao, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, President of University of Cambodia, my old friend, uh, Honorable Chando San, Minister of Transport, just walk in and uh, I'd like to welcome you here. Respected guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. I would like to sincerely thank University of Cambodia for conferring on me this honorary doctorate in social enterprise. I am very much honored by this uh, award, especially as this is the first honorary doctorate conferred upon me by a university in ASEAN outside of my native Malaysia. I am also deeply humbled by this recognition from a country whose people, whose people serve as a shining example to the world on overcoming the horrors and sufferings of war. The tenacity, resilience and magnanimity, magnanimity of the Cambodians in rebuilding a torn nation <clears throat> and restoring hope is now legendary. The rest of the world can learn so much from what you have achieved. Ladies and gentlemen, the term social enterprise can mean different things to different people. In fact, dictionary definitions of the term carries several meanings. Most of these, however, focus largely on what social enterprise does rather than why. My own understanding of the notion is based on why? To me, the word social is about society, while the word enterprise connotes efforts or entrepreneurship. Thus, for me, social enterprise is about building a better society and doing it through entrepreneurship. In other words, it is about giving people the opportunities to improve their lives through their own initiatives. In short, social enterprise is an effort driven by a sense of purpose. I firmly believe that every single one of us must have a higher purpose in life. In my case, that purpose is to give back to society in a meaningful and impactful way and to encourage others to do the same. We all believe that and we know that we can all do well by doing good. My personal motto, that is, I aspire to inspire before I expire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the best way to inspire is, by, is not just doing the right things, but doing things right. Allow me to briefly share some highlights about how our sense of purpose came to be and how this helps ensure that at Sunway we walk the talk. I grew up in a small town called Pusing in the northern state of Perak in Malaysia. I witnessed firsthand the impact of poverty on families and how it closed off avenues of advancement, particularly in education, for my childhood friends. And Pusing back then was largely a tin mining town. You could not fail to notice the ugly scars on the landscape caused by the destructive mining activities. The poverty and misery that surrounded me and the scarred landscape helped define my sense of purpose. I resolved then that I would do all that I could to help create a better society. They shaped my convictions that education provided the best route out of poverty and that we needed to heal a bleeding Mother Earth. 
ladies and gentlemen, these formative years, my formative childhood experience, guided me in my career as an entrepreneur and in my endeavors as a philanthropist. They also shaped my mission to advance the sustainable development agenda in the region. The very birth of the Sunway Group was founded on the concept of sustainable development. It began with the development of Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's first integrated green township. When Mr. the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, Prime Minister of Singapore, visited us in 2003, he has uh, congratulated us for transforming a wasteland into a wonderland. It houses multiple residents, commercial buildings, and award-winning more, Malaysia's first water theme park, and an international recognized medical center with 1,100 beds as a teaching hospital. It is also home to three private universities, a college and an international school, and various public schools with more than 40,000 students. All this was built on what was a barren land of abandoned mining pools four decades ago. The destructive mining activities had turned the area into a moonscape. We rehabilitated the land and restored a thriving ecosystem. Inci incidentally, by ecosystem, I do not mean only the environment. I mean the term in its broadest sense, that is physical and social. Today, Sunway City Kuala Lumpur serves a vibrant community of more than 200,000 people living, working, playing, and studying in a safe, healthy, and connected environment. In the process, we have created thousands of jobs and provided other avenues of advancement for the community. And we plan to integrate technology even more deeply to establish Sunway City as a model, smart, green, sustainable city of the 21st century. The three universities are all within walking distance of each other. They attract more than 40,000 young and talented, talented people, which gives the township an, an energy of, and an air of creativity. The interaction between these young people, the commercial entities, and the intellectual firepower we have gathered in turning Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, into a living laboratory. I like to believe that in identifying solutions to real-world problems in real time, we have established an ecosystem similar to that of the Silicon Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an ancient Chinese proverb which says, and I quote, if your plan is for one year, plant rice. If your plan is for 10 years, plant trees. And if your plan is for 100 years or more, educate children. It is a sentiment I fully subscribe to. The proverb emphasizes that the fact that sustained progress can only be built on the foundation of good quality education. I also firmly believe that education should not be a profit venture, which is why I turned down big offers to list Sunway Education Group in the stock exchange. It was tempting, of course, as I'm a businessman after all, but I stood my to my I stood by my convictions and rejected all these offers, and I have no regrets. Instead, as soon as, soon as I was able to, we established the Jeffrey Chia Foundation, to which I gave all my equity, all my shares, in perpetuity in Sunway's education institution to the Jeffrey Chia Foundation. The gift is worth several billion ringgit. To date, 
the foundation has awarded more than 482 million ringgit in scholarships to tens of thousands of deserving students. The foundation owns and governs all 16 educational institutions and entities under the Sunway Education Group. It is now Malaysia's largest education-focused social enterprise. Apart from making quality education accessible, the foundation is committed to advancing knowledge. Our active partnerships with the University of Cambridge, University of Harvard and the University of Oxford, as well as the University of California, Berkeley, are all part of this mission. We are now in the process of establishing partnership with MIT in Boston, which we are signing an agreement next week, and, in Beijing, and with Beijing University in Beijing. We want to work, I believe, and I always do, we want to work with the best and learn from the best. My ultimate dream is to establish Sunway University as the Harvard of the East. I accept that this will not happen overnight perhaps not even in my lifetime. However, what I'm doing is laying the foundation for those who follow me to complete the task. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2015, when the United Nations adopted the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs in short, the Jeffrey Chia Foundation gave 10 million US dollars to the UN to establish the Jeffrey Sachs Center on Sustainable Develop Development at Sunway University. Professor Jeffrey Sachs, thank you very much for allowing us to name it after you. We shall do our best to make it work. And of course, it is chaired by uh, the world-renowned Professor Jeffrey Sachs. He is the Special Advisor on Sustainable Development to the UN Secretary General Professor Sachs also heads the Earth, Earth Institute at Columbia University. The center is the only one of its type in the region. It aims to advance the sustainability agenda through education, policies, and research. As part of this mission, the center started its Master in Sustainable Development program last year. This month, we have open application for our Master in Public Policy course, which will begin in March this year. We welcome all of you to be part of this program, which are all taught by world-class faculty, including Professor Jeffrey Sachs. He, after tomorrow, he is going back to Kuala Lumpur to teach for two days. You know, you're having a world-renowned uh, faculty like Professor Jeffrey Sachs teaching you. It is, it is a good treat. Please try and enroll for this course if you, if you would like to join us. You will not regret. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share some remarks with the students and young people here today. Why education can provide a path out of poverty Education alone is not enough to help shape a better tomorrow for our world. That mission requires a sense of, a sense of purpose rooted in the right, with the right values. At Sunway, our core values are integrity, humility, and excellence. In integrity is about conducting ourselves with honesty and trustworthiness. It is about being professional, ethical and honest. It is not just doing the right thing, but doing things right. Coming to humility, humility reminds us to be humble always, polite and respectful. It is about displaying empathy and demonstrating daily that we care and we listen. It reminds us that no matter how much we think we know, we still have a lot more to learn. Which is why at Sunway, 
we emphasize and promote the values of lifelong learning. Excellence is about delivering high-quality products and services in whatever sector we are engaged in. It is, about, it is also about constantly pursuing the highest standards in all that we do. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I would like to once again thank the University of Cambodia, uh, Dr. Kao, for the honor conferred upon me today. I end now with an urgent appeal to all of you, young and dynamic people. The creation of a progressive, peaceful and just society is not the sole responsibility of governments. It requires the commitment of all elements of society. The private sector, academia, civil society, and of course, every single individual. And we are all in this together. This is a hard but necessary enterprise. It is our continuing efforts to realize these aspirations. I trust we do so, I trust that we do so with integrity as our guide, humility as our values, and the pursuit of excellence as our choice. With that, I thank you. <laughs>